I'm Ahmad Ali from Educare Institute and today we are going to proceed with literature in English solving from 4 Nectar 2021. And our today's question is question number 7 which reads literature does not exist in a vacuum. It lives and they talk about what is happening in the society. Defend this contention by referring to two praise dilemma of the ghost by Christina Ama Ata Aido and the trials of Brother Jello by Wole Soinka. Give the frequency for each prey. So this is the question in which we are going to solve this time. And our question needs us to use these two prays to, to justify the contention that literature does not exist in a vacuum. Kwamba fasi haitokei patupu, yani sehemu ambapo hakuna kitu. Au unezo kasema literature does not exist from nowhere. It lives in Aishi and talk about what is happening in the society. Na inazungumza kusiana na vitu gani vinatokea katika katika jamii. Kwa hiyo to defend this contention by referring to two praise ambazo tutafanya lejia zetu katika prey mbili, tamthilia mbili ambayo ni Dilemma of the Ghost by Christina Ama Ata I do and Trials of Brother Jello by Wole Soinka. And we are going to give three points per each prey. So in answering this question we should have three parts, which is introduction, main board, and conclusion. So we are now going to see the first part of our question, which is introduction. In our introduction, first, we have to give the meaning of a key term. And a key term of our question is literature. So by definition, literature is a work of art which uses language creatively to send its messages to the intended audiences. Kwamba literature ni kazi ya fasa ya, ya, I mean ni kazi ya sana ambayo inatumia luha katika kufikisha ujumbe wake kwa hadhila kusudiwa. Au katika kufikisha ujumbe wake kwa jamii. It is true that literature does not exist in a vacuum as what it talks about reflects our society. So uh, it is true that literature does not exist from a vacuum or does not exist from nowhere due to the fact that what it talks about always it is what we find in our societies kwamba vitu ambavyo vinazungumzwa katika literature au vinaonyeshwa na fasihi vi, ni vitu ambavyo vinatokea katika jamii zetu kwao ni dhahiri kwamba literature does not exist from nowhere but in fact it exists or it talks about things which exists in our society so by referring to Two Praise Dilemma of a Ghost by Christina Ama Ata Aido and the Trials of Brother Jell by Wally Soinka. The following arguments support this contention by relating what happened in this praise and what is happening in the societies. So, we're going to use these two given a praise which is Dilemma of the Ghost and um, Trials of Brother Jell to justify the, that contention. And we are going to use are things that have happened in these two prayers by relating them to what is happening in the society. Tunaenda kuonesha vitu ambavyo vinatokea katika hizi tamthilia zetu mbili lakini pia hivyo vitu vina uhusiano gani na vitu ambavyo vinatokea katika uh, jamii zetu. Kwa kifupi tunaenda kutumia relevances za hizo pray katika our little societies. So we are going to start with a pray dilemma of a ghost by Christina Ama Ata Aido. And our first point is people betray among themselves in the societies. So people betray among themselves in the societies. Yani kwamba watu wanasalitiana wao kwa wao katika jamii. For example, you find that uh, people agree with thumbsing or reach an agreement to do or perform thumbsing. But at the end, one among them tend to betray other people for example unakuta watu wanakubaliana wana tufanye jambo fulani labda tu tutengeneze siri fulani ambayo hii siri tukiweza kuitunza baadaye inaweza ikatupa mafanikio fulani lakini unakuta mtu anaenda kutoa lile wazo 
katika maeneo mengine linatumika au linakuja lina kubumbuluka ambapo mwisho wa siku linajulikana watu wengine wanalitumia wananufaika nalo so that is betroy and for example in a prey ato betroy his society by mailing eulalie so in this prey um the dilemma of the ghost our main character ato betroys his society by mailing eulalie tunamuona huyu character musika ato anamuoa eulalie who is an african american girl and his society wants him to mail a girl who is from their society but at the end after being sent to acquire western education when he came back to his society he came with this girl known as eulalie as his wife so this is a kind of betroy and it relates to what takes place in our societies even in this love affairs tunaona watu wanasalitiana katika mapenzi mwisho wa siku watu wanaingia katika migogoro kutokana na usaliti wa mapenzi watu wanaoana so that's what is called betroy so uh, through this point we justify our contention that literature does not occur from the vacuum and it talks it lives and talks about things which happens in our daily societies and another point is people practice tribalism in the societies kwamba watu wana ukabila katika jamii zetu tunaona kwamba kuna watu wanaendekeza ukabila wana ubaguzi wa kikabila and some african society still practice the so called tribalism in various matters particularly in marriage yes tunaona kwamba baadhi ya jamii zetu sana sana kwa mfano jamii ambazo zinaishi sana maeneo ya vijijini wana practice this so called uh, tribalism wana ule ukabila kubagu, kubaguana katika masuala zima ya kabila unakuta kwa mfano katika swala la ndoa a person from one tribe is not allowed to marry a person from another tribe so that is what we so called tribalism and this occur in our prey for example ato's family want ato to marry a girl from their tribe and not eulalie as i have told you once that this girl eulalie is ato's wife who is a an african american girl um, so in this prey ato mailed this uh, an african american girl when he went to acquire a western education but when he came back to his society um, his relatives do not do not agree him to marry this girl eulalie so because they want ato to mail a girl who is from their society wanamtaka ato amuoe msichana ambaye anatoka katika katika jamii yao kwa hiyo tunaona huu ni ukabila kwamba wao wameshikilia tu wewe ni mtu wa kabila letu na natakiwa umuoe mtu kutoka, kutoka katika kabila letu au kutoka katika jamii yetu so this is what we called a uh, tribalism and due to this point we can justify that it is true literature does not occur in the vacuum it lives and it talks about what is happening in our societies and another point is bride price and the wife beating are common in most of african societies yeah kwamba katika nzaki africa still bride price na wife beating ulipaji wa mahali kwa ajili ya kumuoa labda binti lakini pia kuwapiga wana, wana wake kwa sababu labda wewe ni mume basi unamwadhibu mke wako ili akuogope au akuheshimu sana bado watu wanaendelea ku practice especially those uh, those societies which lives in most rural areas so this occur in our societies almost all african societies uphold the tradition of paying bride price as a respect to a girl family yeah we see almost all the african society not only those people who are living at the rural areas even those who are living in urban areas tunaona still bride price imekuwa kama tamaduni ambayo inaendelezwa na tamaduni kubwa sana kwa sababu wanaona kwamba ulipaji wa mahali ni kuleta heshima kwenye familia ya huyo mwanamke ambaye unamuoa so still people uphold this tradition which is so called bride price but also husbands tend to beat their wives as a way of silencing them and to make them submissive yeah we see in our societies still husbands tend to beat their wives especially those who are found in most rural areas um, 
most of them tend to beat their wives so that they can afraid uh, them or silencing them or to make them submissive to them. So this is also occur in our day to day societies. For example, in a prey, Atos Maza, who is known as Escom, prepare a bride price for Ato to marry a girl from their society. Yeah, we see tunaona kwamba katika itamthilia yetu um, the dilemma of the ghost. Huyu mamake na Ato ambaye anaitwa Escom aliandaa tayari bride price kwa ajili ya kulipa ili mtoto wake Ato amuoe binti kutoka katika uh, jamii yao. So we, we see even the, in this prey uh, the issue of bride price is being practiced. And the, like, the issue of bride price in this prey because it is written from our day-to-day -day societies. Therefore, it does not, literature does not occur from the vacuum. It reflects uh, what is happening in our day-to-day -day society. And coming to another example, Ato slapped his wife Eulalie until she escaped from Ato. And this uh, marks an example of another thing which is wife beating. Tunamuona katika I, tunamona ato katika hii tamthilia yetu anampiga mke wake anamslap anampiga kofi then eulalie aka escape from ato baadaye ato anaanza sasa kumtafuta nani mke wake eulalie so we see even in this prey the dilemma of the ghost the issue of wife beating is happening and this reflects to what happens in our society therefore our literature does not occur from the vacuum because it reflects to what uh, is happening in our day-to-day -day societies. Um, after seeing in our the first prayer, which is dilemma of the ghost, we are now coming to a prayer trials of Brother Jell by Wal Soinka. And the following arguments show the relevance of literature with its societies. Uh, it is relevant because uh, I introduced once that this question need us to relate what happens in literature, specifically these two prayers, to what happens uh, in a, our societies. So, the first point is, there is existence of hypocrisy in the societies. Kumba katika jamii zetu, tunaona kuna unafiki, watu wananafikiana among themselves. So, uh, this is the first point in this prayer. From the prayer, Brother Jell in, I mean, Brother Jell is hypocrite as his actions do not comply with his preaches. He also pretend to majority that he do not have house while he have a house. Tunaona katika hii tamthilia yetu huyu musika mkuu brother Jell ana preach vitu ambacho an, vitu ambavyo anavi preach kwa nani kwa followers wake watu wanaomwamini uh, ni quite differently to what uh, to what, who, what he is doing. So kwa mfano tunaona brother Jell anawaambia followers wake kwamba yeye hana nyumba that's why he live in the beach, but in reality, Brother Jell have a house. So this is so-called hypocrisy. Let us reflect it in our day society. This reflects it to what happens in the societies where there is plenty of hypocrisy, especially among some religious leaders. Yes, we see in our day society, specifically this nowadays, uh, the lies lies of a lot of religious leaders who are in Lille, they are hypocrite. Why? They are hypocrite because when I preach, sometimes it is quite different to their behaviors. Nitofauti kabisa na matendo yao. So that is hypocrite. And due to this, uh, it justifies that literature does not occur from the vacuum, but it reflects or it relates or it talks about what is taking place in our societies. And another point is, there is conflict existing in the societies, yes, kuna migogoro mbalimbali ambayo inatokea katika jamii zetu ambayo inasababishwa na sababu mbalimbali. From the prey, there is a lot of conflicts existing. For example, a conflict between brother brother Jell and the old prophet of a land. Tunona katika tamthilia yetu kuna migogoro mbalimbali inatokea kwa mfano um, gogoro kati ya brother Jell na Amope. Also, there is uh, a conflict between Brother Jell, a famous conflict between Brother Jell and all the prophet, prophet of a land. They are competing over land. So, this reflects to what happens in our daily society. Conflicts exist even in 
I mean our societies in our everyday life. For example, land conflicts exist in many societies. Kwamba tunaona hii sasa ina reflect kitu ambacho kinatokea katika jamii zetu. Tunaona kuna migogoro mingi ambayo watu wanakuwa wana, wana katika hiyo migogoro kwa sababu ya ardhi. Tunaona kuna migogoro kati ya waf, mfano migogoro ardhi kati ya wakulima labda na wafugaji au migogoro ardhi wa mtu wanagombana na mwenzake kwa sababu ya piloti anataka ajenge nyumba kila mtu anahitaji hiyo ardhi. So this reflects to what happens uh, in our day societies and it justifies that literature does not occur from the vacuum but it reflects what happens in our daily societies. And the last point from this play is existence of ignorance among people in the societies. Kwamba kuna ujinga uh, katika nyungoni mwa watu katika jamii. We see in a play many people particularly brother Jello's followers are ignorant of what is a real brother Jell as they trust him while in reality brother Jell is not a person to trust as a religious leader yeah tunaona katika hii tamthilia yetu um, the trials of brother Jell the main character who is a brother Jell mm, is not a man to trust because his preaches goes against uh, his behaviors kwamba yani vitu ambavyo ana preach kwa followers wake yeye kama kiongozi wa dini ni tofauti na tabia zake kwa mfano tumeona Mwanzo tabia yake ya nini unafiki ana preach that he, do, he don't have a house but in reality he have a house so uh, but even if brother Jello is not a person to trust still his followers trust him yani bado wale watu wanaendelea kumuamini wanakuja kutoa sadaka kama offering to god but all in all brother Jello is not a person to trust due to his behaviors like hypocrisy but because of ignorance still uh, his followers trust him and this reflects our societies whereby there lies people who are ignorant of people to whom they trust the most uh, they the lies people who are who they trust i mean this reflects our societies whereby there lies people who are ignorant of people to whom they trust the most hence they end up in this illusion when they come to realize realities of their interested people yeah tunaona kwamba sasa hii ina reflect au ina kisi mambo ambayo yanatokea katika jamii zetu tunaona katika jamii zetu kuna watu ni ignorant over uh, their people who are trusted the most kwamba mtu unakuta anamwamini sana mtu fulani lakini kumbe in reality huyo mtu anamgeuka kwa mfano tuchukulie katika tasnia ya mapenzi unakutana wapenzi mpenzi mmoja labda wa kike anamwamini sana wa kiume but kumbe ni she is ignorant of the reality behind uh, huyo boy au huyo mwanaume anayemwamini kwa hiyo tunaona ignorant which is within our prey reflect to what happens in our daily society after seeing the second part of our question which is main board we are now moving to the third and the last part which is conclusion and here a student may provide any relevant conclusion for example a student may conclude by justifying the contention given in the question by saying that it is true that literature does not exist from a vacuum as in as it exists from the societies and what is that is why it reflects what happens in the societies so this is an example for a conclusion Mwanafunzi anaweza kathibitisha kwamba ni kweli bwana literature au fasihi haitokei tu from nowhere but inatoke, ina, ina unge, inazungumza vitu ambavyo vinafanyika katika jamii ina akisi vitu ambavyo vinafanyika katika jamii so it is true that to say uh, literature does not occur from the vacuum but all in all it reflects uh, what is happening in the society that is why it is equal to say that literature uh, reflects what happens in the society and uh, with that being said this marks the end of our today's session let's meet on another session session